proud viewers welcome back live on entertainment tv my name is park Abner. so currently we are the premises of um knust junior high school department where an entrepreneurship program is going on right now and it's so beautiful it's so marvelous you can see all the students around doing what they are doing and it's exciting i have with me um my beautiful mom and my father and my dear mother here, they are going to introduce themselves. Um, they are the authorities of the school right now. So we're going to have a little conversation with them. They are going to tell us a little about what is going on for the day. Madam, welcome live on Entertainment TV. Thank you. Please, your name. I'm Reverend Mrs. Irene in cancer. Oh, okay, can you tell us your post? I'm the head of the KNUST basic school. The sister may say that we have a basic school head. We have a deputy head for the JHS, and we have a deputy head for the primary, and a deputy head for the preschool. All right. Madam, we, we, we've already heard of inter an entrepreneurship program. We've seen some actions going on. Can you um, elaborate on what's going on right now for us to understand? The current educational system is said that children are to be educated, right. both academically and then with the practical part two. Okay. So uh, we are not leaving the practical aspect of the, what is being taught, the theory in the classrooms. Okay. We have decided to give them the theory and also see them practicalize whatever is being taught. So these children are being taught how to prepare whatever they have been taught and then sell it to the community, which is the entrepreneurship class. So today they are having the practicals in the catering, so that they'll be able to market whatever they have been taught. Some are doing some boiling things, some are roasting, some are frying, and all the other methods of cooking is being done by them. So that the other children, their counterparts, will buy as they will do when they go out. We want these children to have this sense of not depending on the government after school okay. for work, okay. so that they can set up their own small businesses sure. and then be able to live on their own. Okay. So that is exactly what you are seeing this morning in the school. So madam, is it part of the school's, um, let's say, curriculum or like um, their courses or what? Yes, it's part of the curriculum. Okay. They offer catering. Some offer pre-technical pre skills, okay. which is the either construction or carpentry or whatever. But this group you've seen this morning is into home accounts, the catering aspect of the home accounts. So some even do the sewing and they are being taught how to sew, how to cut and all other things. So this group is the catering group which is being taught how to cook and how to market what is being cooked. Now, considering the students, their interest, do you think that they are interested in this? Very, very, very interested. For real? Yes. Um, today is Tuesday. I came around on Saturday and I met a group here in the school. So I was asking, are you coming for classes? They said, no, madam. We have practical lessons on Tuesday. So we've come together to plan what we are going to do. Wow. Go to the market and get our staffs bought to be able to get ready for our lesson. Wow. And I said, ah, why not on Monday? Madam, Monday will not close early. So I want to do all the preparations. And there are some of the things we have to do before class. So we are in here to gather them so that on Tuesday we'll have a cooking rolling. And so they are very, very, very interested. And even those who are not in home accounts are very interested in it. When you go to the uh, market, the cafeteria this morning, yeah. the place is empty. Mm -hmm. They all want to buy from their mates because they know that at least this was cooked in a very good environment and they have seen what is going on. It's being cooked by their mates. And it's nice. Very interesting in what they are doing. It's 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 very interesting. Actually, when I when I came here, I was surprised because I could see some of them cooking, frying um, eggs, yes. yams, and yes. and the interest and the happiness on their faces. It was so exciting, Madam. Um, finally, tell us um, what should parents expect after all this? Parents should expect their children cooking at home, and I think that they should give them the platform. You see, parents of today don't have confidence in our children. And so when they are even taught and they tell us they can do it, we still do not allow them. I will want to encourage all parents who have their children in KNUST basic school and in the JHS section, 
with the home economics class to allow the children in the classroom. They will do the cooking, they will do the cleaning up, they will do the arrangements, and they will even educate parents on what to use in cooking and what not to be used. And I trust, I, trust me, the parents who eat healthy meals when they give the meals, the cooking of the meals to the children. I was about to wrap up, but finally, um, is today the first time that you are doing this? Or? No, I think this is the third. The uh, different classes are doing it. Okay. So this is the third class that is doing okay. it. Okay. Okay. We hope to join you um, the next day of, you know, a day like this. Thank um, you very much. You're welcome, madam. You're welcome, madam. Father, you didn't tell us your name. Yes. Uh, I'm Eric Uchiata, the Mr. deputy head of the GHS. Okay. Madam. And I know you, there's the deputy head of primary school. So, people, as you've heard from my able mom and dad, they are the authorities of this noble institution. We are going to wrap up here, but I'm going to give you videos, except of what is going. Trust me, you are going to enjoy it. I will show you some exploits of these kids, and it's so amazing. Viewers, we are still at the grounds of KNUST, the junior high school department. I have with me a very beautiful woman. Um, she is a teacher. And as you can see, she's busy, you know, doing what I love. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Madam, can you tell us your name? I'm Madam Rose. Madam Rose. Yes, please. So, Madam, tell us about what is going on right now. Tell us. You want to understand what's happening because I can see you cooking. It's about the new curriculum. Right. It's a uh, career technology, and they've gotten to a topic called the entrepreneurship. And uh, as we can see now, now the job market, there's no jobs available. So we want to let them know that when you finish school and you don't get a job, you can set up your own business. That's why we've allowed them to start sell something small so that they will know how to attract customers, how to get profits, how they will market their things. When they are in search of jobs and they can't get one, they can also sell set up their own businesses so the basic reason for today is to prepare them for the future yes, right please. yes please okay. that is not for them to settle on education only right no please okay so madam what are you cooking i'm cooking a, a food from the fancy land called tatali tatali yes please tatali. can my viewers see uh, tatali can you okay so madam um uh, this is group what I think this is group three. Group three. Yes, please. So every member of this group can prepare tatali. Yes, please. Hey, madam, then you have done well. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my sister, can you cook tatali? So you are learning, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So tatali right there in your in your in your shorts. And madam, what's your name once again? Madam Rose. Madam Rose. Which class? So basic seven and basic eight. Basic seven and basic eight. All right. So viewers, as you can see, I've already spoken with the head and she has elaborated much on today's event. And you just heard from Madam too. So um, have a view, have a view, have a view. Feel, feel the vibe, feel the vibe, Charlie. Feel the vibe because this Tata lady, madam, you cannot um, take me out. Uh, yeah, I'll get my share of Tata Lee. Okay, I thought it should be a kakro or a kakro is deep frying, Tata Lee is shallow frying. Oh, okay. As for the kakro, you need a lot of oil so that the stuff can uh, go down. But for the Tata Lee, you just need a small oil. That's it. So it is assured that the children, you know, here. We'll be able to prepare Tatali. We'll be able to prepare, starting from Form 1 to Form 3, because we've uh, taught them local uh, delegates. Hey, kids, are you there? Now shout, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tatali group members, shout, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tatali, right after school, I'll look for you guys, eh? I'll look for you guys. 
Uh, I'll come and have my share of the tatali. All right, so thank you, madam. I'll be back for my tatali. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. It smells pretty good. Yes. I have with me here um, some um, of the teachers who teaches here. Madam, you will tell us your name. And from you, I'll come to my big brother here. Madam, what's your name? I'm Rita Jemfi. Rita Jemfi. Madam yes, Rita please. Jemfi, big brother. Nana Ose. Nana Ose. Yes, please. Okay, so I can see you squandering something in your hands. I just finished eating Tatali. Tatali? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you part of th that, that group? Yes, actually, you're part of all the groups. You are just here to supervise them to make sure everything is done properly. Yes. Okay, let me start from Madam. Madam, you throw little light on what is going on okay. today okay we are teaching um entrepreneurship like we need to tell the students how to buy how to sell and how to get a profit after school they get to stay in the house idly so instead of staying in the house idle they can even sell certain small small fingertip things like chips i totally as they did and they be selling it and get their profits afterwards so that they will know that in their house if they learn a topic called career technology they realize that they become a problem solver to the community to the community yes, so basically be that is the reason why you guys have gathered here right? yes please okay so, so tell me you are with the kids. Yeah. Have you found out whether they are interested in whatever you guys are teaching them? You see, are they interested in? Um, actually, this is evidence enough for you to see. You see how they all participated in doing this. It means that they should get interest in whatever we do, especially especially when the things are very practical. They involve themselves. So I think um, for interest sake, I think they're all interested in whatever we teach them because whatever we taught them in the class, they have applied it here, which means that if there's no interest in that, Whenever they come here, they'll mess up. But you see, there's interest. So when they come here, they perform as we want. So I'm sure the interest is already there. Now, is it part of the school's, um, um, what do you call it? Curriculum, right? Okay. Yes. Is it? Is it not part of Yes, it is part of the school curriculum. Approved by government or? Yes, approved by NACA and government and the GES and the Ministry of Education. It's, it's approved by them. You see, now, nowadays, they are, they, they are, they are gearing towards the, the practical aspect of, of, of school. See, when you're back in school, it was all theory, 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 theory. But now, I think they realize that most of the times, the practical things can also feed you rather than you just going to school, just the theory one. So I think with the new curriculum, most of the things that you do are, are mainly practicals. So see, as they are, as they have been able to learn how to make these things, right? When they complete school, even if there is no grammar job for them to do, they can start something on their own. You see, that is the main motive behind why we are doing this to empower them so that they can survive on their own, even if there's no government job for them. Charlie, the teachers are doing well. The teachers are doing really, really, really well. Madam, finally, um, you would tell us, um, going forward, going forward, what should parents expect? from these kid, kids after school? After school, I think they should expect from their kids that they shouldn't give them any limitation within them. They can prepare whatever they want. Due to the career technology, students now can prepare their own cakes, their own chips, certain foods, that is fingertips, they can prepare. So if they are in the house, they can assist their, pay, their students and also know that when they go into the SHS, if a person wants to become a medical doctor in future, let's say that they've already learned the theory aspect of what nutri nutrients are and they now know the practical aspect of it so they can apply it into the science aspect too. So it will help them very well. It will help them very, very well. Uh, Madam, your name once again? Rita. Madam Rita and Nana Ose. Mr. Nana Ose, Nana Ose. My uncle's name is Nana Ose. He did in Europe. He doesn't mind me. But anyway, I have my uncle. The recognition of my... <laughs> All right. So guys, that's how we, we're going to end today's edition. Please subscribe to this channel. We are promising you for more because there is another batch. I don't know the date actually, but we'll be back to give you more of whatever you are seeing here. But hold on. We... Okay. Okay. From the preparation. From the preparation. the end. All right. Stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. My name is Papa. Oh, you've been in school.